Welcome to Michigan Out of Doors. I'm Bob Garner. And I'm Claudia Hitchcock. And this week on Michigan Out of Doors, we're going to kick it off by going down to Lake Erie. Really no sick. siree. We're not going to be fishing walleyes down there. We're going to be fishing smallmouth bass. And it was a rough day, rough morning out on the water, <laughs> but boy, did we get into the fish. And you shot that well. This is a good story coming up, folks. Next, we're going to take a look at a bird species you don't get to see very often. It's the sandhill crane. It's actually the oldest bird species in Michigan. We're going to show you where and when is the best time to view them around the state. You know, one of the stories you always see on the 630 News, especially the national news, is how nasty guns are and their improper and dangerous use. We're going to show you a good news story about the use of guns, where guns were used constructively to raise a lot of money for a children's charity. Of course, we'll have all our regular features and more, so you stay tuned. It's time for Michigan Out of Doors. Made a lifetime for the memories in rolling fields of green Walking in the woodlands and wading crystal streams Come summer, autumn, winter, spring, there's nowhere I'd rather be Than in Michigan's out of doors with friends and family <laughs> Yes! Michigan Out of Doors is brought to you in part by Jay's Sporting Goods Centrally located in Clare, Jay's has been serving sportsmen since 1974. Jay's Sporting Goods, outdoor gear for Michigan's out of doors. And by Statewide Real Estate, a Michigan network of real estate brokers who specialize in homes, cottages, commercial and recreational properties. Statewide Real Estate bringing buyers and sellers together in almost every area of Michigan's out of doors. Michigan United Conservation Clubs makes possible the production of this television program. MUCC has protected Michigan's environment, natural resources, and hunting and fishing heritage for 60 years. MUCC supporting conservation through education in our great outdoors. You know, sometimes it's hard to remind yourself, but there are more than walleyes to be caught on Lake Erie. Here's a story that really is a lot of fun. It's all good news. First of all, it involves a husband and wife fishing team, Cindy and Marty Weeblehouse. And it involves the fightinest fish in Michigan, pound for pound, the smallmouth bass. And if that isn't enough, the fishing trip will take us out onto Lake Erie, where the news, as Tony the Tiger says, is great for smallmouth bass. Actually, Marty and Cindy are headed for 13 to 14 feet of water where the week before they really got into them. Now they'll fish a rock pile that Marty had inputted into his GPS. That's a very important part of his gear. It's on board his bass boat and using that global positioning system, it will take them right back to where the rock pile was where they caught the fish in short order. It's a short ride out to Lake Erie and as they head out past the Lake Erie Metro Park sign, the water is rough, it's a rocking and a rolling but it should be great for fishing. Marty Weevilhouse has been chasing bass for a lot of years and is pretty well known. And he knows that these smallies are suckers for tube baits. And of course, Marty's got plenty of them on hand. These tube baits, they come, they come without hooks in them. They're real soft and they're hollow and they got tentacles on the back. And then when the fish bite on them, they're real lifelike. So that, that makes them really want to eat the bait and hang on to it. And today, because we got a lot of wind blowing around here, I'm using Bulldog is the brand name, but they got Gamagatsu hooks, half ounce weights. Sometimes we'll use uh, quarter ounce weights like these. I think that's what Cindy's got on right now. So we do try to figure out which ones uh, work better for the given day. And you can see I got assortments of jigs of all different sizes and shapes, all with Gamagatsu hooks, all custom poured. Hey, don't forget this. Marty adds a little scent to his tube jig. Now, Cindy's bait is also ready to go. Cindy's more of a recent convert to fishing and enjoys it. My husband took me out one day. Um, I was just laying in the back of the boat, sunning and reading a book, and he started catching these big four-pound smallmouth, and I just jumped up there and said, let me try that. And I tried it, and I was hooked. It's exciting. Um, I can't tell you. It's probably just the uh, excitement of catching a fish, and I never thought I'd be doing this. Um, if you'd have told me eight years ago that I'd be fishing tournaments, I would have said, you're crazy. Well, who couldn't enjoy fishing tournaments and catching smallmouth bass like these two, two and a half and three pounders? Not every cast, but 
on enough casts to be considered top-notch smallmouth action. Now there's plenty of room out on Lake Erie and the smallmouth action there has gotten better and better over the years. It's big water and it can get rough in a matter of just a few minutes. Now it's mainly a walleye lake on the Michigan side. At least that's what most of the fishermen who fish it would call it, but not Marty and Cindy. They recognize the spectacular bass fishing here, and especially the new fishery, and they recognize that a small mouth on the end of your line will give you all the battle and fun of a much larger fish. And it works better when you work it as a team, just like Marty and Cindy get a chance to. These are, this is the average fish here, you know. Mm -hmm. the, um, and you get the occasional three or four to five pound fish occasionally, but they're pretty chunky, and they come in the fall, they're like footballs. I mean, the bellies on them are nice and fat, and they're a lot thicker. Marty and Cindy release the bass they catch. It's their way of making sure that they'll have plenty of smallmouth to catch in the future. Now that Cindy's an avid angler, she's made the state bass team. And as one out of 12 members of this select group, they will fish for the old Wolverine State in competition that will be held in September in Minnesota. She's broken through a gender barrier, but she's also earned that right to go. For Cindy, this road to bass fishing success has taken just a few short years. While she's spent the past five or six years fishing, her tournament experience has only been in the last four years. Hey, most of us guys would envy the progress she's made. And as president of the Michigan Bass and Gals, she makes sure that bass fishing is available to any woman that's interested in learning more about bass. And not just smallmouth bass, she likes to fish both species of bass. Largemouth and smallmouth, either one, I, it's just great fishing. It's not something you can go out like the walleye guys go out and, and um, they have a depth finder and they pretty much locate structure and there's some scientific research there and with bass fishing <clears throat> it's a hunch you really can't you know largemouth sometimes smallmouth too you can't mark them on a graph at all i mean they're hiding so it's a real challenge too to try to catch them yeah you saw that today those fish the even the pound and a halfers didn't want to come up they just keep going and going and going and that's what makes it fun um they're they're available in so many different types of places also they're they're in current eddies they're uh they're in uh, deep rock shoals out in the middle of the lake uh, they're in weed beds and grass beds they adapt to so many different ways and you can use so many different types of lures in all the lake systems so it makes it uh makes it a lot of fun all morning long on lake erie marty and cindy caught fought and really smallmouth bass and they were only about a mile and a half south of the Detroit River. They were fishing together, spending the warm summer morning together, and enjoying it. It's the best to be able to enjoy and share all that fun and excitement with the person that you love the most. And um, she teaches me a lot out there because she's new eyes at it. I've been doing it for a lot of years, and, and uh, she'll figure some things out that I can't figure out every once in a while. So as a team, it works out as a real, real plus, and I love it. And if you like light tackle, you'll have your hands full with the smallmouth. Even at the boat, there's plenty of scrap left in these fish, and they have that uncanny ability to explode out of the water at any moment. All right. You'd like that Italian dressing on that tube bait. Come on now, line's slippery and everything. There you go. A little bit smaller than the last one. A little time. bit smaller, yeah. But he, they're, all, they're all fun. He's about a pound and a half. Yeah. Look at him looking around. Hey, you're on television. All right. Look at him. Look at his eye going. <laughs> Becky goes. Becky goes. It was a 15 or 20 bass morning for Marty and Cindy Weeblehouse. Many mornings they do better, some mornings not as well. But regardless, they value their time together, making their fishing quality time and marrying their passion for fishing and for each other together in Michigan's Out of Doors. Last week we had a special show with guests from the Department of Natural Resources to discuss the new white-tailed deer regulations for the upcoming deer seasons. Many of the changes had to do with antlerless deer, which doesn't necessarily mean a doe. An